Hey guys, how are we? Happy Friday! Um, hopefully it'll be a quick run today. I'm going to try and keep it as quick as I can because I do need to get out the door myself. Um, so interesting conversations come up every day that just give me these like pff, awarenesses of things to share and things to communicate and just little tidbits that I know should help others and therefore of course I will be the voice, the vessel and share it. Um, so of late, as you all know, last week lost my one of my jobs um, and the other jobs have been severely cut back on hours. Um, as a, hi, my name's Shana Clermont and I'm a workaholic and um, I don't seem to understand how I am relevant unless I am ridiculously busy and I fear that not being busy makes me unuseful, makes me worthless, makes me um, unvaluable, also makes me uh, depressed and anxious and... I don't know what to do with myself unless I'm manically busy. Okay, who else might relate with that? <laughs> you know, um, a lot of us workaholics have spent most of our life in creation uh, phase and, and trying to be relevant, right? We're trying to do all the busyness to maintain being relevant always. And something that really has come to light for me of late is that um, me losing my job was such a gift because it really forced me into being aware of that story and how it was actually controlling my ability to be happy, to be calm and actually to surrender to my natural flow um, and actually tap back into my, my true creativity. Like everything you guys have seen on Facebook lately has been actually kind of forced. It's actually not been, it's been inside of me. Like, don't get me wrong. It's been me, but it's not been uh, fully coming from a good space. It's been coming from this space of like, must keep doing and must keep creating. Um, and it was still, it's still magic. I still love everything I do, but it still hasn't been easy. And it hasn't been the truth. Um, cause it's been hard guys. I've been in like some really, really horrible feeling spaces, but old Shana used to just work through it and, and, and be even busier than ever to try and avoid those icky feelings. The one thing I can totally admit that I do is that I actually am an, I'm an emotional eater. It's just what I do. It's been the way I've been my whole life. Um, and the, the trick or the thing or the, the message I want to pass on is that a lot of us do this. A lot of us emotionally eat as a way of feeling safe and pushing the emotions down, deep, deep down and away from the surface and from feeling them. And then we eat then we judge ourselves, then we hate ourselves, then we feel guilt. Hey, Shan, um, hi, Shay, hey, Nat, hi, Matt. Um, and so we go into this vicious cycle of like hating and, and judging and, and, and castrating ourselves for the behaviors that we play out as a direct response of these emotions that we're feeling that we're probably not trained to actually harness and understand and, and to, to actually love. Because each of these feelings come up as a, as a, as a beacon, as a, as a sign that we've got emotions to process. So um, this, the art of allowing is that in this process of the global climate, I myself, like many of you, have been forced to stop, forced to face the mirror and see what we want, what we don't like, what we do want, uh, what, we, what we do enjoy, what we don't enjoy, and what we've actually been using as a facade or an escape mechanism or a coping mechanism rather than just being in the emotions. Because a lot of us fight the emotions away rather than actually realizing that the emotions that are there are really, really important for us to become aware of what's truly being said inside of us. Because the outside noise happens all the time um, and, and the busyness allows us to avoid it. The, the eating allows us to avoid those feelings truly. Um, and so this last week, um, from the beginning of the week, I sort of said to everybody, I'm not going to... I've I've jumped on and register my intent like everybody else, but I'm not going to go and actively seek work because um, I realize I've spent my entire life working hard, working multiple jobs, trying to, um, trying to keep myself relevant, keep myself um, with money and all the rest of it. And what I realize is that right now the gift for myself and for many of you probably is that sometimes we just need to allow, allow the breakdown allow the emotions, allow the feelings, allow that whole like, I'm not worthy, whatever it might be. Allow the emotional eating even, dare I say, allow the emotional eating. Rather than judging it and castrating ourselves, just become aware of it. What am I doing? I'm choosing to eat. Why am I choosing to eat? Because I don't feel good. Why don't I feel good? Because I don't have money. Why don't I have money? Because of the current climate. Do I have control over this? Probably not. So instead of judging myself for the behavior, that I'm playing out as a response. How's about I give myself, and I did, I said I'm giving myself this week, everybody, 
I said to my mentors, I said to my coaches, I said to my friends, this week you can all go away. I know what I'm doing is probably not the greatest, the emotional eating, but I'm allowing it this week with no judgment. I'm going to show up how I show up every day. If I sleep until 9, 9.30, 10, I'm going to do that this week. If I want to eat chocolate late at night and make a chocolate chia seed pudding thing late at night, I'm going to allow it this week. I'm going to do it without judgment because for the first time in my life, I'm going to step into a space of allowing with no judgment on who I am. I'm going to step into this space and my girlfriend calls it the goo phase. Um, uh, Sage will be watching this at some stage. It's the goo phase. And she says, you know, the caterpillar crawls along and then it finishes its, its existence in this format and it goes into the cocoon and it turns into goo. And the goo phase is painful. The goo phase is unknown. The goo phase is scary. The goo phase is, is this whole like combobulation of emotions and thoughts and reactions. The goo phase is this important phase of us transforming, transmuting into the next version of ourselves. Because what happens to the caterpillar? It goes into the cocoon, it reformates, it has the wings, and then it has to go through this very last hurrah. It has to go through this last, like, painful phase of squeezing out of the cocoon and hurting. And the, the painful extrapolation of coming out of that cocoon formulates its wings, and it can then go through the process of actually earning the wings, growing the wings, forming the wings, and knowing how to release the wings and fly and become the butterfly. And this has been this week. And uh, I'm sharing this today because today was the day that I woke up and went, all right, all right, I get it. All right, I've hurt, I've cried, I've eaten, I've trained, I've, I've sworn, I've done all these things. I've allowed myself time to lose it in whatever way I needed to, to process the feelings, to process the emotions, to let go of them, and to let go, most, most of all, to let go of the judgment and the, the BS... Um, confinements, constraints, beliefs, protection mechanisms that I put into my life, my whole life, so that I can go into the goo phase and finally realize that I have wings and this last powerful transition, which unfortunately for me was the re realization that I have a friend who is potentially losing it, and um, to play witness to that and play witness to someone else going through their transition, it kind of shocked me in the last couple of days and I had my last cry, my last emotional release. And I woke up this morning and went, all right, I'm done. I'm, I'm ready, right? Allowance, give yourself time for the allowance of whatever it is you need to process. If it's drink, and we were talking about this, my girlfriend and I were talking about this um, last night and today, was I had a day where I got totally drunk ridiculously drunk. I felt terrible the next day. I got that out of my system. I haven't wanted alcohol since. <laughs> I've had days where I've wanted lots of chocolate. And so I had lots of chocolate. I had days where I wanted ice cream and I had ice cream. So whatever it was I needed, because ultimately, yeah, they're not great choices, but I do know that I can come out the other side of them and I can make a better choice tomorrow. I do know that I can then spend the next couple of weeks loving, nurturing, understanding me and my rhythm and my flow and what my body likes and needs to be clear and on check and on point and then I'm in a good space and then I'm in the space where I'm actually able to really have creativity really have passion to drop away all the facades that we've had in our past I mean this is the gift we're getting in life right now everything that we held dear everything that we held as a as a way of being is being taken from us and we have to go back to grassroots we have to go back into allowance shed away all the past stuff and come out of the cocoon with wings and go, whoa, what is this wing? What does this mean now? How do I fly now? What is this? What's flying? What's 2020 meant to look like from here on? Who is Shana showing up in this life? How is Shana going to contribute? Right? Reflect on this in yourselves. We're given an opportunity to go into the goo phase right now and get really icky and really painful and face all of the emotions and thoughts and feelings. And then we get to go through the last hurrah, the last phase, and be like, all right, what am I now? How am I going to show up now? How am I going to contribute? How am I going to be? And so today I got up and I went, right, I'm done. I'm setting a schedule. I'm setting a routine. I'm, I'm done sabotaging. I'm ready to really come back into my own self. Forget everybody else. Forget the society. Forget everything. What, is I, what do I want? What do I value? What do I enjoy? What makes me feel good? I now know what makes me feel bad. So come back into that space and go, cool, so now what do I do? Who do I be? I sat here and wrote out a nice big schedule of my days. I wrote my list of what I want to get achieved. 
I got clear. Now I can come from a space of true creativity, true compassion, true care, and I can really show up in the world as me, as what I, what I choose to be now, rather than what I feel I have to be. My message today is go into the state of allowance. Go into the goo phase. Give yourself the time to figure this out. Stop the noise, stop the chaos, and allow yourself just to have whatever it is you need to get through this transition. And just know that tomorrow is another day, tomorrow is another opportunity to get it better, to get it right, to choose more, to choose worthiness, to choose love. Biggest message, come from love. Come from love for yourself. Like I said through the rest of most of this conversation, I used to judge and have guilt and shame and fear around all the things and, and the way I showed up. I've managed to face all of that this last week and go, cool, cool, what actually really matters? I just want to love. I want to love me. I want to love you. I want to love what shows up. I want to love how we all are, how we all contribute. We're given so many blessings right now and a lot of us haven't allowed ourselves to feel all the feels and fall in love with life again. That's my message for today. Allow, become the goo. Allow yourself to come out as the butterfly you're meant to be. Peace out.